Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, first of all I'd like to apologise. I was supposed to upload this in December, just before Christmas. I thought it was a nice video to end the year on. Um, however, it being Christmas and it also being the middle of a pandemic um, and I was working, I just... life got in the way, I suppose. Um, so, here it is now. This is the final episode of Adventures in Lockdown, um, but at the end I'll talk about what comes next. I should say that I recorded this over two separate days, a couple of weeks apart. Um, so these first clips were during what was the second lockdown, or what we called the second lockdown, but really the restrictions were a bit more relaxed, so you couldn't go into shops, but you could go out and pick stuff up from shops um, and uh, the clips you'll see towards the end are during the third lockdown which we are currently still in which is much more strict and is much like the first lockdown in fact I think it's probably in terms of restrictions exactly the same So this is Oxford Street, the busiest shopping street or the busiest street in Europe, probably one of the busiest streets in the world, um, known for its shops and um, yeah, in the run up to Christmas it's usually absolutely chaotic, uh, absolutely packed with people doing their Christmas shopping. Uh, there's lots of big name shops here or uh, chain shops, department stores have their flagship stores on this street um, but because of the restrictions it was pretty much deserted. As you can see there are still a few people around in these first clips um, that's when the rules were slightly more relaxed but um, and so none of these shops were open you couldn't go in any of them but people were still walking around to see the lights uh, which are quite famous. Uh, they're switched on a few weeks before Christmas, usually by a celebrity and a big celebration with music and performances and there's a bit of a show beforehand and it's absolutely chaotic usually but obviously this time that didn't happen.
This here was the former flagship store of His Master's Voice, or as it's more commonly known, HMV, which uh, sells DVDs, CDs, records, basically anything to do with entertainment. It sells um, speakers and things like that, headphones and stuff as well now, I believe. But um, it underwent some financial difficulties a few years ago. I believe it's still is in a bit of a serious financial situation um, but it decided to close this store which was its main store over three or four levels I think um, and it's been there for quite a while so it was quite sad that that shut down and it's still um, still there empty at the moment. So I think we're now getting into the part of the video where uh, we're in lockdown 3.0, the third lockdown with tighter restrictions. So now as you can see there are fewer people on the street and um, yes this is really anyone who's been to London or uh, lives in London will know that Oxford Street just never looks like this. This is this is astonishing. And here is one of the casualties of the pandemic. Debenhams, which is a department store in the UK, primarily targeted towards women over 40, I suppose you could say. Um, it's closing, closing down. This is its flagship store on Oxford Street. It's quite a big store and it's been there for as long as I can remember. Um, and it's closing down. In fact, all the stores are closing down or not reopening after the pandemic or opening for a short period of time to get rid of stock. Um, so yes, lots of job losses. It's a very sad situation. It is continuing as an online brand um, after it was bought, bought up, but it remains to be seen how successful it will be given that its clientele is a bit older.
so I hope you enjoyed this insight into what one of the world's busiest streets looked like in the run-up to Christmas, but on a truly extraordinary year when shops were forced to close for most of the year, the economy took a severe battering, people sadly lost their lives, and this is the end of the year, a time that's supposed to be filled with happiness and joy and coming together and giving presents and celebrating, um, but sadly all these all these Christmas lights and no one really there to see them and all these shops and no one there to buy anything in them and them not even allowed to be opening so yes I just wanted to show you all what it looked like in 2020 the year the world stopped and everything seemed to give us a new perspective on life In terms of this series, Adventures in Lockdown, um, it's ending now, officially, this time. This will definitely be the final episode, but there is more to come still. Um, I am starting a new series, which will become the kind of spiritual successor to this series, and that will be starting soon, hopefully. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.